Welcome to our short presentation about GPU4Geo. GPU4Geo is a software development project funded by PASC, a platform for advanced scientific computing, the Swiss National Supercomputing Center, CSCS, and ETH Zurich. The work realized here is a joint initiative between ETH Zurich, CSCS, the Gutenberg University of Mainz, and MIT. The accelerating outflow of ice in Antarctica agreement due to a warming climate or the geodynamic processes shaping the Earth share common computational challenges. Extreme scale high performance computing, which requires the next generation of numerical models, parallel solvers, and supercomputers. We here present a fresh approach to modern HPC and share our experience running Julia on thousands of graphical processing units. Computational Earth sciences leverage numerical modeling to understand and predict the evolution of complex multiphysical systems. Ice sheet dynamics and solid Earth geodynamics are, despite their apparent differences, two domains that build upon analogous physical description, mainly incompressible viscous Stokes flow and complex rheology. Latest supercomputers such as ALPS at CSCS, Lumi in Finland, and Frontier. World's first exascale supercomputer located at Oak Ridge National Lab in the US all share a common feature, GPUs. NVIDIA GPUs for ALPS, AMD GPUs for Lumi and Frontier. The goal of the GPU4Geo project is to propose software tools which provide a way forward in this two domain by exploiting two powerful emerge, emerging paradigms in HPC, massively parallel iterative solvers and HPC with Julia on graphical processing units. Since 2004 and the memory wall, compute chips feature multi to many cores, which increase the massive durability to crunch numbers. However, memory performance lags behind. GPUs are over one order of magnitude more efficient in memory performance than CPUs resulting in massive speedup potential for algorithms able to leverage their specification. The new hardware challenges scientific software development and usually implies taking a very new direction in the way solvers and HPC parallel applications are designed. Moreover, applications should ideally run on both NVIDIA and AMD GPUs. We are embracing this challenge using the Julia programming language. We believe Julia is the tool for the job since it solves the two language problem, permitting to design a single code for both prototyping and production purpose. This because Julia is fast. Julia also avoids the usually costly development cycle looping between high level language prototype code and low level language production code. After one year into the project, we already made good advances and have a GPU-based finite difference iterative solver that permits to resolve the complex flow and stress field of the Rhone Glacier, located in the Swiss Alps. The glacier outline is freely available on the GLAMOS database. Our fast ice Julia application loads the geometry and solves the flow field with a resolution here of 4 meters in all three dimensions on multiple GPUs, and this in a couple of minutes. A similar flagship application is under development for geodynamical applications. In the remaining of the talk, I'll share some insights about the packages and code we are currently developing within the GPU4Geo project. Among others, I want to highlight Parallel Stencil, which enables parallel stencil computations on both GPUs and CPUs. Implicit Global Grid, which renders stencil-based distributed parallelization of GPUs and CPUs applications trivial. GeoParam, which provides computational routines to define material parameters and perform non-dimensionalization. And Just Relax, which regroups a collection of 2D and 3D Julia GPU parallel benchmarks, so-called mini-apps. If you are curious, I invite you to have a glimpse at the GPU4Geo website.
Parallel Stencil permits to write backend agnostic high performance compute functions or kernels that perform close to hardware limit on modern GPUs. The example of this simple diffusion kernel rewritten using Parallel Stencil achieves 93% of peak performance on latest NVIDIA A100 GPUs. Note also that execution efficiency is about two orders of magnitude higher than the CPU version. But what if we want to use more than a single GPU? For distributed memory parallelization purpose, we developed Implicit Global Grid. Building upon MPI, Implicit Global Grid exposes mainly three functions for distributed computing. Global Grid Initialization, Halo Update or Internal Boundary Value Exchange among neighboring processes, Global Grid Finalization. These three lines of codes are all you need to implement Halo Update in the Julia code. Then, both on NVIDIA GPUs and AMD GPUs, Implicit Global Grid can be used with CUDA-aware or RockM-aware MPI to exchange directly device pointers and bypassing the CPU copy of the Halo. Also, we implemented communication computation overlap, a feature called high communication. This allows to hide MPI communication behind physics calculations in a very efficient manner. This technique allows us to achieve a parallel efficiency drop of only 2% when scaling from 1 to 2,197 GPUs in parallel. Besides these activities, we work towards developing GPU-friendly tools and techniques to leverage the specificities of GPU computing at best. For example, we use dynamic kernel launch features to experiment sparse tiling capabilities. This allows us to, to skip blocks of the domain that only contains, for example, bedrock or air cells in order to use memory on the GPU more efficiently. We also work on a prototype of marker and cell advection tailored for GPU execution. There we use static array known as cell arrays in order to efficiently perform operation on the markers in parallel. Glacier and ice sheet geometries are challenging because they are not aligned with the Cartesian staggered grid we are using in our finite difference framework, which makes the implementation of basal traction boundary conditions challenging. To circumvent the issue, we are currently investigating efficiently ways to perform iterative solves on the GPU using the finite difference finite element method in a fully matrix-free fashion. We here also rely on cell arrays to broadcast element local dense linear algebra operations over all GPU threads for maximal efficiency. For large scale simulation, we may use hybrid finite difference finite element approaches where we map the boundary of the computational domain using a thin layer of finite elements that then connect to the finite difference bulk. I hope you enjoyed this glimpse into our ongoing development related to the GPU4Geo project. We will further work in the coming years towards flagship applications of ICE Dynamics and Geodynamics using Julian running on latest supercomputers. To this end, we just recently achieved the 2D diffusion solve on eight AMD GPUs using Rockham over MPI on Oak Ridge Frontier Replica System. If you are curious and want to learn more, stay tuned and follow our news feed on the GPU4Geo website. Also, feel free to ping me. Thanks for your attention.